Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In this video I want to clearly explain candlestick patterns. Now they can have a number of fancy names, but what's important is the underlying messages that can be taken when we see these patterns on a chart. So I'm going to explain to you how these work and how this can be used as one part of your overall strategy. Remember, we never want to put all our eggs in one basket, so this is just another tool at your disposal to help formulate an opinion on where prices may or may not be heading. Now in the crypto world, candles are formed slightly differently than the stock world, so I'm going to talk about that as well. And we're going to use daily candles in the purpose of this presentation, but obviously if you're trading a four hour chart or a five minute chart, those candles simply represent the allotted time period that you're looking at on that chart. So each day we have a candle that's made up of a couple of parts, the body and these upper wicks, shadows or tails. Now I'm going to refer to those as wicks um, just for the purpose of this presentation. That's what I like to call them, but you will hear them called those other names as well. So each day we have an opening price and then a closing price, and that's going to form the body of the candlestick. But the price may actually trade higher than where we open during that day and lower than where we close during that day. And that's how these wicks are formed outside the trading range of where we open and close, but again, above and below where other price action occurred. So I hope that's nice and clear to understand. If a candle has a closing price below where it opened, it's often shaded or red. And if it closes above where it opened, it's often hollow or green in most charting software. So nice and easy to understand. That's the candlestick basics of how an individual candlestick is formed. But obviously each candle and each day is different in the trading world. So let's have a look at a few of the different types. Now a doji just means that the opening and closing price is pretty close together, if not the same. So you're gonna see these big wicks, again, the wicks above and below, where the trading action occurred, but then we close right near where we open. So the candle doesn't have a very big body, if any body. Now the spinning top is the same, a narrow trading range between open and close, but we might have a wide range of trading action in the wicks above and below that occurred during that day before we close again. Now these are just some sort of neutral and basic patterns, but I'm gonna talk about how some of these rare basic patterns can actually give you a strong indicator. So one of the rare patterns is a marabazoo. Now this can be extremely bullish or bearish. Now all I mean when I say that Bullish means that we're positive or we think the price is going to go up. And bearish means that we're negative or we think the price is likely to go down. So you're going to hear me say bullish and bearish. You'll hear those terms a lot in the stock market world. So let's head over to the real world to a chart of Bitcoin and check out a Marabazoo. And I remember this one clearly because we were looking for a bottom after the Bitcoin Cash hard fork. So price had been as high as 3000 We got this big downtrend. There's a lot of sort of confusion and panic and this candle here, I'll talk about why this is a good bottoming candle as well, but this Marabazoo, a very rare candle, we open right on the bottom here, we close right on the top, there's no wick above or below, and that's a rare candle that says it's, it's extremely bullish. And again, look at the price action that followed this candle here. We, we've had a huge run after this candle was formed. So that's some of the basic ones. For the purpose of this presentation, I'm not gonna dive into the multi candle patterns. So we're gonna to stick to these single candle patterns. If you guys like this presentation, I'll do a follow-up video. But let's keep it simple. Let's have a look at a few of these patterns that mark bottoms and tops. So what's really important here, as I said at the start, the underlying messages, the trading psychology, what can we take away? So when we see these sort of patterns here with a long wick, a dragonfly doji or a hammer, it can mean something after we've been in a downtrend. It means that all these buyers are stepping in. So, you know, we might open here, we trade lower, but then this week represents all the buyers that stepped in during the day to push price higher and close up here or close here where we opened. So again, fancy names, but as long as you can look at the candle and understand how it's formed, these wicks above or below can give us these messages that, hey, this might be a bottom, or conversely, you know, this might be a top. So let's head over to the chart and see if we can find a hammer and maybe a dragonfly doji. 
So this is a great example of a hammer here. So we've been in a bit of a downtrend, a bit of a correction for a few days. A large number of buyers step in and again close up here after we've been in a downtrend. It's a green candle, a bullish hammer, reversal pattern and the price action continues higher. Now that worked really well in that occasion. So again, let's have a look for a Dragonfly Doji. Not perfect, but pretty close here. You know, it's got a tiny body. We tend to always have a, at least a bit of a body in the crypto world because it's so volatile. So very rarely are we gonna get a candle that has the exact same open and close because these products are so volatile. So again, that long wick, bit of a consolidation, and then we get that price action following higher in the coming weeks. So let's head over to the chart again and try and pick a top where we've seen these shooting stars. So a bit of a body, it's a shooting star. If it's got that pretty tight doji body there, we call it a gravestone doji. So again, those wicks represent sellers coming in to overwhelm all the buyers that have been pushing the price up and that's the trend reversal sign. So let's head back over to the chart. So just here's probably a pretty good example. We've been in a big uptrend and then, you know, we've got a bit of a week below, so, you know, that can be called a spinning top. And again, these, it's not black and white. These chart patterns are always slightly different. So it can be, you know, a mixture or combination of two in between two. So we're just looking at these general sort of patterns and what the wicks mean. You don't have to be an expert to help these patterns guide you. So again, long wicks above here, and then that can mean that that's the top for the time being after we've been in this long uptrend. So let's go to where prices sit currently. And again, this is a pretty good example here. So Gravestone Doji, we've got a bit of a wick there. So, you know, you can call it a spinning top if you like, but we've been this big uptrend for, you know, basically weeks and weeks with only a few down days at a time. This can mark a top. So again, it's a similar candle here. We get a correction. It doesn't necessarily mean we're starting a bear market. But it's just a warning sign. And then sure enough, we have this big bearish candle. And in the stock world, we have the stock markets open and closed. So that's the next thing I want to talk about and the difference between crypto and the stock market world in these daily candlesticks. So depending on what country you live in, the stock market might open at 10 a.m. and shut at 4 p.m. But then if the price can gap higher or lower between when it closes and opens. So you get these candlesticks here with the gaps between the candles in between the day's actions. Now we don't get these in the crypto world. So this is a fantastic example here and you'll notice that every close represents simply that day ticking over in a time period. So depending on what country or exchange you're on, they might stop their daily candlestick at midnight each night. Now there's no gap or time period between days Crypto trades 24-7 and each candle just ticks over to the next candle at that same level. So that's why the crypto world is very different to the stock world. You're not ever going to see gaps in these candlestick patterns. So guys, that's probably it for the introduction video there. An introduction to how candlesticks are formed, some basic patterns that you can help recognize the tops and bottoms with those long weeks. Again, this is all just one tool at our disposal to help formulate an opinion. So I hope you've enjoyed that video, guys. Please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around, and as always, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.